Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. You are Sambo and joining us as always is Electra, our level 6 dual wielding, lightning based red and yellow super powered superhero here at the Little Bohemia nightclub. And of course if you joined us in the last episode you'll know that we're here because we've got to go and speak with Parasite. The clubhouse clout is the name of the quest here in Little Bohemia. Meet Parasite at the safe house while he's still full. Mm, interesting, whatever that means. And you can see here, our reward is very nice. It's a style that we haven't got collected yet. It's new Genesis and it gives us 23 defense, 44 health, 2 precision and 25 might. Very nice. You can also see we've got here an ambush bug vault and of course he's given us the vault ticket which is very cool. If we complete that right now, there we go. And you can see it says equip the vault ticket. You know how this works. Use it to teleport to the vault. Be sure you have some free inventory spaces before you go. And yes, here it is up the top here. All we need to do is right click on that and equip it. And of course that puts it in our consumable slot there, which is number seven. If we use that, we'll get taken straight to the vault. You know what? We haven't been there at all, I don't think, on this character, have we? I'm pretty sure we haven't. So I think it's time to do that right now. Let's do it and hopefully we'll get teleported straight there hello power girl oh yeah actually i was going to say it's been a while since we've seen you but we have seen you recently well, and here we well, are well, in well, the well, joker's well, vault to joker's room of fun mayhem and prizes what will it be something to flatten you your good? opponents i always hope for argyle socks all right we're going to have voiceovers left right and center anyway, but you know how it works folks all we have to do is go in here and it's basically a free for all it is fantastic we get to smash up the presents and of course that means that we get ourselves lots of free goodies, we get XP, or we got ourselves a, look at that, a green backpack or something there, we'll check that out when we've finished. And of course you do get a chance for some crazy stuff to drop as well, I've seen some transformation items actually drop out of here in the past, where you actually can change yourself into like a monster or something like that, some very cool one-off things that are in here if you're lucky. Alright, let's skedaddle over here. Now I'm not sure if it's, uh, you know, after all this time, not sure if it's set on a timer or if there's a set amount of presence because they do respawn, whether the Joker just randomly decides that he's over, over you looting him senseless, maybe he is. Oh, I can see a present over there, let's fly on over, not very fast, oh, get bounced around by these balls. I'm pretty sure I did see another one. Ah, there we go. Alright, so I'm guessing it's actually a set number of presents, actually. Is that it? That's it! Game's it is! Over. Step along, step along. Nothing to see. There you go, the joke is over it now. Before my good mood wears off. That before my good mood wears off, he says, indeed. Alright, so we'll check our inventory in just a sec. And hopefully we've got ourselves something nice. Maybe we're able to use that green back item. Let's have a look. And, oh, we've got a couple of things in here. Look at this. Alright, so we've got ourselves a back style, actually. Anti-freeze. We'll add that to our style collection. And Greco-Roman as well. And a cape of Egyptian style. All right, so three green items that allow us to change up our styles. Not going to complain about that at all, at all. And in fact, speaking of not complaining about things, I never complain about you guys. You guys rock, and I've got a couple of shout outs just to show you how much you do rock. First one here is from Eddie Riggs. Now, by the way, 10 internet points if you can let me know what game that character's from. Eddie Riggs. And by the way, I love that game. That is such a good game. You know what? I think I've got to play it some more. Anyhow, Eddie Riggs, great name there. Love your videos, man. I'm a longtime fan, and can you give me a shout out? My uh, name is Blacker Eddie Riggs. There you go so a big shout out to you and thank you very much for your support got another one here from ghost 241 who just says shout out 
out in a big capital. So there you go. You got exactly that. Thank you for your support. Kyle Luida. And they say, this, these are the YouTube usernames, by the way. Kyle Luida says, give me a shout out, please, Sambo. You're the man. No, you're the man. You're the man for supporting my channel. Thank you very much. A big shout out to you. Also one here for Mr. Fresh Buzz. Hey, can I get a shout out? I've been loving all of your videos and I've watched all the DCU vids. And my name is Fresh Buzz. Goodness me, Fresh Buzz, if you've watched all of them, that is a whole bunch. That's over, what is it, over 260 or something? I can't remember what number we're up to now, but that is a lot of DC Universe Online Let's Play videos that you've watched there. So thank you very, very much. Appreciate the support. Got one here from Pokey Subscriber New, and this says, Hey Sambo, you know me from all those messages I sent you, and I love that you're starting up a The Old Republic Let's Play. Yep, we certainly did. Anyway, please give me a shout out in your next video. The pronunciation of my name is... Oh, okay, let's see if I got it right the first time. Pokey Subscriber NU. All right, there you go. I almost said it right. Pokey Subscriber NU, thanks very much. Well, no, thank you very much to you for your support. Big shout out to you. And finally, one here from Terrorhawk13. And they say, hey, Sambo NZ, I love all of your DC Universe videos, but just wondering, who do you play as on the PS3? And PS, can I please get a shout out from Terrorhawk13? Well, Terrorhawk13, if you'd like to go over to my main YouTube channel, and listed on there down the side is an FAQ and it actually lists the names of my PS3 characters in fact all of my characters over there so go on and take a look there all right so let's have a look in our journal now you can see we've got this one here the clubhouse clout that's what we're doing meet paradise at this safe house and we're going to get ourselves a nice shirt now before we go any further though I do want to re-equip my sodas because that would be bad if we headed out into the big wide open world without the soda collars. Mind you, I've done it before, haven't I? Yes. Anyway, here is Parasite in desperately need of moisturizer. What's he got to say for himself? Man, that was the best Kryptonian energy I've had in ages. Lex has another mission for you if you want it. The Hive is taking a bite out of LexCore's transports down by the Metrodome. Yeah, of course we want it. We always want more missions. Let's press J to access our journal. Meet Paradise, a uh, parasite rather, and we've done that. There we go. We get ourselves a nice new shirt. It's got, uh, what has it got? More defense, more health, a lot of more health, more precision, and more might. And indeed, it's a new style called New Genesis. Let's complete that. Thank you very much. This is Lex Luthor. Since you performed the last task so admirably, I think you're the one to handle this developing situation. Hive drones are attacking crucial exobite transports near the Metropolis Metrodome. Go crush some insects and retrieve my exobites. I've worked too hard to let Queen Bee's mindless bugs ruin it now. Ah, oh, you heard the man. When Lex says jump, we say how high Lex, sir. And not before we equip this new gear here. Look at that. Fantastic. And you can see, by the way, I've already equipped a waist that we got given to us by one of our viewers. Thank you very much for that. That's now equipped. Still too low. This one here is level 13. Still can't can't equip that one. So, uh, and of course, you can see also here level 11 staff, although we are dual wielding. All right, so let's have a look at our journal. And I think what we should do before we do this pest control, though, is the Explore Metropolis one. Pretty sure we're in Metropolis at the moment. Let's track that. Because we want to, uh, again, as always, try and get these ones out of the way so that they don't get too low, which they already kind of are in this case. But, yeah, so pest control is 8. We've still got attack Brainiac there, which is level 6, so we'll probably do that one next. But let's do this one here first. And you can see here, use the little Bohemia nightclub kiosk. And that means we're all done. All we need to do is hand in. Thank you, Booster Gold. So, do you feel smarter after spending some time at Metropolis University? You'd be amazed to learn how many people tell me I make them feel a lot more intelligent. It's a gift, I suppose, but it's just part of the wonder of being Booster Gold. Join me for more exciting exploration adventures throughout the city. Well, yep, you are certainly exciting, Booster. You're weird. Anyway, okay, here we go. We are done a loop of higher learning. 
is going to be ours. Now, I'm not sure we're actually wearing any rings. No, we're not. So that's a bit of an historic moment for us there. Our very first ring. Yahoo, thank you, Booster Gold. And he's got another quest for us there. Let's see if we can figure out where he wants Hi, us to go. I'm Booster Gold, and welcome to Exploration Adventures with Booster Gold. This adventure will take you to Metropolis's Queensland Boardwalk. Once a prosperous amusement park and beach, the boardwalk is now a twisted and broken reminder of our tumultuous times. All right, we remember the Queensland Boardwalk. And of course, you can see there we get ourselves another ring at the end of it as well. And that's very cool. Let's have a look in the journal and see what level that is. All right, we're definitely going to track that one. Again, trying to keep the lower ones done. And we can always save the other one. The new one we got from Lex is actually a level 8. So we don't need that just yet. And what we'll do is the other quest there, the Brainiac one, after we've done a bit of exploration. If we can get out of the safe house, of course. And there we are, escaped nicely. Oh, you know what? That's something we haven't done for a while either. Uh, some races. Oh, there you go, I'll get you guys nervous. I know you love me doing races, not. It's all right, I'll let you stew on that one. We do need to do some though, because they are a nice little easy source of XP. And of course, I know you guys love watching me fail hard at them. Yeah. All right, so we need to find the Queensland boardwalk. Now this looks like it actually might be quite a way away. It is, it's all the way across town. Good Lord, okay, before we do that, let's see if we can actually check the Brainiac one. That might be nearby. Calculator here. Ready to get some revenge on the genius who planned to digitize your powers? Then let's stomp some cans. Brainiac's forces are making a push into the city. Head over there and hold the line. All right, let's see where these are. Oh, okay, look, they're a lot closer. So let's do that. And as you know, of course, we don't have our super speed. We're only level six. So we're not going to get that until we're level nine. Used to think it was level 10, but it is level nine. Thanks for one of our viewers for telling us that one, actually. Uh, so, all right, are we in the right place? It looks like this is very hivish to me. Yep. No, sorry, not hivish, brainiac-ish. That's what I wanted, hive. Lord, got the hive on my brain. Right, you see, we actually have to speak to the Lex Corp turret operator, and I've leapt right in there, but never mind. Let's just clean up a little bit. No harm in doing that. All good XP. All right, where's this turret? Oh, oh there he is, mobile defense this? sentry. Oh, one of Lex's super suits. Make yourself useful and fry some robots. We need backup. We need backup. All right, no problem. We can do that. Eliminate invading Brainiac forces. One out of 20. Critical damage. You know what, I've been on Christmas holidays and it's been a long time since I've actually played DCUO and I can tell you straight away it is fantastic to get back into it. It's just so much fun. I love the combat. I've been playing a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic and of course that's more traditional MMO combat. This is a nice change, some action, full on action from DC Universe Online. Fun, fun, fun. And of course, always great being on our new Lightning Strikes character, Electra, which is good. All right, here's a whole bunch. Let's do a big AOE. There we are. Hopefully, we attract all of their attention. We've still got our heals. Let's use that. Make sure we lock on here as well, just so we're being efficient with our killing. You can see we've got 12 out of 20 here already. And look at that, we are now level 7. Woo! All right, congratulations, Electra. Well done. Let's hit that K menu up and see if we can allocate ourselves a, a skill point. And as you know, that's going to be done into a weapon. So this is going to be a combo. What are we going to get? So we've got Whirlwind Strike. That looks kind of cool. Holding down the left mouse button there. You can see it interrupts and deflects range attacks with additional damage and knockdown when supercharge is at a maximum. Eh, not bad. What's this one? Encircling throw. We have to tap left and then hold right. Encircles you with your weapons, knocking down or stunning enemies that's kind of cool as well this one here ultra flurry well nine left clicks and then a left hold 
Oh my god, okay, no, nah, we don't, don't want that one. I'm gonna try this one. Tap left and then hold right. Let's see what that one does. And we'll try it on this infiltrator, perhaps. Come on. No. Alright, he died before we managed to get to him. Let's try this one. Tap hold. Alright, that looked very cool and actually took quite a chunk of health out of that Brainiac robot there. Left, right. There it is. It's kind of like a mini boomerang effect, I guess. And that's... There we go. Perform encircling throw. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then hold. Alright, so that's interesting. Why did it say that we had to do eight left clicks and then hold? Because I'm pretty sure it's just one left click and then hold. Let's try that. Here we go. We're going to do tap and then hold. And yeah, it does it. So why nine? That's bizarre. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. Does exactly the same thing. All right, not sure if that's a bug or what, but it is definitely weird. All right, let's get out of here. You can see we've completed this quest, and you can still see there are Christmas uh, decorations around the land as well, which is very cool. Good to see that Christmas hasn't finished just yet. There we go. Start. Brainiac knows we're onto him now. He's jamming some of my signals. Hang on. Oh, okay. He's breaking up. Right, I think I blocked him. The bad news is that he's capturing exobite targets. Take some of those poor slobs to the transport drop-off. Alright, so you know how this one works normally. You pick up something and then you get yourself a nice little target and there they go. There's the all too familiar glowing balls that we're probably going to have to pick up. And we'll get an arrow above our head and that'll show us where... Yep, that'll show us where we need to drop off these targets here. Transport Brainiac's targets to LexCorp drop-off point, five of those, and destroy five, uh, 15, rather, of the Brainiac accumulators, which are these things right here. Let's get right into it. Oh, and we're trapped ourselves there in one of those glowy orange balls. Let's do a bit of an AOE there, knock them out hopefully, and you can see these guys are actually taking one heck of a beating actually. And that's because they're the same level as us, a little bit harder than what we've just been used to. And not forgetting to use our stun beam there, and our self heal as well. Make sure that we use tab here to lock on, oh and nasty. We are going to die. Yes, we are. Told you I was rusty. Told you I was out of practice. Oh dear. Those guys are a lot harder than the last accumulators we were just fighting. And that's one of the things, I mean, we've had this happen to us so many times, you think I'd be used to it by now. And that is the difficulty curve there that just leaps up out of the blue, out of nowhere, and smacks you about the face. That's just what happened to us then. Never mind, all it means is that we'll have to pay attention just a little bit more and of course not take on 50 million of them at once. You can see we've already destroyed 4 out of 15 though, so we're almost a third of the way through, so it's not too bad. What we will need to do is transport these Brainiac targets here to the drop-off point and hopefully we won't get beaten up in the meantime. Let's go straight for one of those, see if we can do that. Holding down E and hopefully getting ourselves, yep, there we go. A directional arrow and of course that goes from red to green the closer you get to the drop-off point and you can see it right over there can't miss that there we go that is one out of five done let's lock on to this guy oh and straight away trapped Status critical. trying to use our combos here see if we can clear an area Oh yeah, look, we've got to remember to use that new combo that we just used, uh, that we just learnt rather, with those swirling blades. They definitely make a difference and tear strips off, yep, two out of five, tear strips off these accumulators, there's no doubt about that. That's if we're not trapped, of course. Critical damage. And look at that, down to basically 25% health straight away. 
These guys don't seem too interested in me, thank goodness, though, unless I attack them. Come on, trying to break out of this. And we can't! Cannot break out! It's very interesting. That took a lot to get out of that. Wow. Okay, not sure what happened there. And trapped again. Can we break out this time? Yes, we can. Using our own heal and our stun there. Boy, those guys are really nasty if they gang up on you. So if you're doing this at home, definitely watch out that you don't aggro too many. You can see there we got right down in health. All right, three out of five of these to be transported. Just two more to go. Definitely got time. Let's grab ourselves another one and make for the drop-off area. Just one more to go after this. There we go. And you can see we've got four more of these accumulators to get as well. Let's see if we can get this one because he's out on his own. Oh, and trapped. And using our new combo there with the blades. And our stun. Alright, let's use the stun again. No, we got ourselves trapped. Alright, big AoE time. And you can see we are actually out of juice there. Yikes. So we're going to need to use ourselves a soda. And there we go. That saved our rear, thank goodness. Let's see if we can pick one of these up without being interrupted. And can we get out of here? Oh, boy. All right, look at that. Our health is down to about, ooh, what's that, 15 20%? Yikes. Alright, there we go. Done. And we just need one more of the robots. And we are done. Fantastic. Alright, here's one all on its lonesome. And trapped us. Yikes. And it's not on its lonesome after all. Goodness gracious me. And there's a whole bunch of them. And we're trapped as well. Oh dear, oh dear. We need every ounce of our healing here. We are going to die, unfortunately. Are we going to... Oh no, we just managed... Oh, and we didn't look at that. Thought we actually managed to get out of it, and no, we didn't. Oh man, so close. Two deaths in our debut episode post Christmas recording. Oh dear, not a good start, mind you. It's definitely a Sambo NZ start, isn't it? You can see we're done. Let's access our journal here. Yeah, that made him mad. He's on to us. Hang on. <coughs> yeah, that made him mad. He's on to us. Hang on. All right, so maybe we'll get right. another voice over there. We go. A supercharged vacillating system, which should. No, oh, never mind. Brainiac's bombing down troops and supplies for his invasion. He'll start bottling any moment unless you stop him. All right, there you go. You can see we've got to stop him from bottling. That means we've got to destroy the communication arrays. Five of those, and still more. 15 of uh, Brainiac's forces as well. Now, you might remember this one. This one can be just a little bit difficult. And let's see if we can actually do this. Can't remember how you get these arrays. Whether or not you actually have to destroy these things first, I can't remember. But we'll soon find out. Maybe... Do we just... No. Nope. Ah, there it is. That's the ones that we need. Holding E, hopefully... We won't get interrupted, and then we actually destroy it. There we go. One out of five. Done. And yeah, definitely liking this new combo, by the way. These guys seem to want to run away from us today. No idea why. Anyway, one out of 15. Got a lot to do there. So first thing you have to do is basically strip the shield, I guess is what we're doing there, and then beat it up. And there we go, all done. Let's lock on to this guy. Give him a bit of a stun. And give him a taste of our new whirling blades. And look at that. Knocked him out straight away. Fantastic stuff. Now these subjugators, if I remember rightly, are quite nasty. Let's see if we can stun them. There we go, all done. And you can see we're already 3 out of 15 of the Brainiac forces. And this will be 4 out of 5 of the communication arrays. 
alpha protocol. Now that was interesting. If I hold down the right mouse button, it does a charge double throw. Okay, I must have forgotten about that one. It's been so long since I've played Electra, I just didn't even know about that. Whoopsie. We shall remember that. Along with our new one there as well. Alright, let's see if we can actually make this four out of five. Damage sustained. Or are we gonna get interrupted? Well, we're gonna keep getting interrupted by this guy. Alright, you need to die. There we go. Now, let's see if we can finally get this communication array, please! All right, there we go, and that'll make it, I think, what's that, four out of five? All right, just the one more to go. Performance impaired. All right, and eight out of 15 of Brainiac's forces. Let's see if we can do this one without getting interrupted. Somehow, I don't think, oh, we did, wow. There we go, that's Systems all of them. Now all we've got to do is eliminate the forces. Lost. Oh, trying to get that combo off. There it is, charge, double throw. And that knocks them down as well. Very handy. Critical damage. And a charge, double throw. So you can see it's very similar. The new combo that we learned is very similar to the charged double throw there. Let's see if we can stun this guy. Performance impaired. And there we go. Just three more to go. And we're done as we fly amongst the Christmas decorations that are still up. Great to see. There we go. Is that it? No, it didn't count. Why did that not count? I have no idea. All right, let's lock onto this guy here. Maybe the sparks don't count, we'll soon find out. No, that one did. So, yep, at a bit of a loss to explain why the other one didn't. Not sure. Anyway, never mind. Let's open up with a charge double throw. Let's also do one of our new abilities here. Systems failing. And there we go, we are done. Can we get out of here? Oh, oh well, if you want to fight, it is a fight that you shall have, my friend. Alpha protocol. Minor damage. All right, let's see if we can get out of here now. We are good and done, well and truly done. And let's hit J, check out our journal, see what's up next. Nice. You even managed to target the communication arrays blocking my signal. I'll remember that. Now, head back to the safe house. I imagine a reward is waiting for you. Oh, I like the sound of that. And right on time as well. A couple of minutes left in this episode. Let's head back to the safe house. And of course, that means we can repair up and buy ourselves some new consumables, get rid of our vendor trash, and most importantly, of course, hand in our quest. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy, I really wish we could get to a level 9 fast because flying around at slow speed, oh, it's no fun after you're used to a super speed, of course. And not far to go, you can see we've basically got a couple of levels. We're level 7. What do we got? 1 and 3 quarter levels to go. So it's going to go fairly quickly, I'd say. All right, let's go hand in, return to Agent Order, see what he's got for us. Yeah. That should keep Brainiac licking his wounds for a while. You did good. We did do good. There we go. A Morning Star pendant. And I think, I think that's going to be our first pendant. I could be wrong. Let's have a look in our inventory here. And what do we got? No, it is. Look at that. It is definitely our first one. And look how beaten up we are. Oh, my Lord. All right. We need to find ourselves a vendor. And we need to find one quick because we are very, very beaten up. And that means we need some repairs. If I can find my way around. Nope, that's Parasite. Can you tell it's been a long time since I've been here? Yeah. Right, pretty sure they're over up. Oh, whoops, there we go. Through, flying through the glass. That's always a good start. Here we go. Here's the vendors. Associate Amanda, help I've us please. Here for your everyday needs. All right, so we need some repairs. Repair all. There we go. 
down to 154 cash. Yikes! All right, making sure that we don't sell off the goods that were given to us, of course, by our wonderful viewer. Here we go, solid baton. Gone, Cynthian Blades gone. That's what we were using before. The old waistband that we had as well. And that's about it, I think. 238 health. Got ourselves enough colas there. That is it from us, folks. We're out of time. Looks like our next quest will be... Oh, could be, I'd say we'll be exploring Queensland there. We'll get that one out of the way. It's level four. We are level seven. That'll give us some much needed XP. And then I think we'll be ready for pest control here, which of course is the start of the hive quest line. Been looking forward to starting that as well. Do like fighting Queen Bee. That's the culmination, of course, in the single player instance. That's a really fun fight. But until then, folks, certainly hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. On behalf of myself, Sambo, and of course, Electra, our level seven superpowered superhero. It's us saying take care. We'll see you next time and bye bye.